Hi, um, today I'm just going to give a brief um, demonstration about how to do linear regression in Python. So I actually, previously I actually uh, uh, did the same thing, exactly the same thing in R. And now I'm just uh, trying to, tr to do the same thing again in, in Python. And uh, I'm also learning Python myself. So I'll just use this as a as a as a as an example to to for as for learning and also to demonstrate how to run a uh, linear regression, uh, actually multiple linear regression, uh, um, in actually in four different ways in Python, as uh, as in previously in the R code I also. Um, I also use uh, four different ways to run uh, multiple linear regression in, in R. And uh, if you are interested in the derivation for, um, for the closed form and for uh, solution, the gradient descent, the coordinate descent, feel free to, uh, to watch my previous video on R. So um, I talk about all the derivation here, or, or you can uh, pause the video and take a look on the comments here. Um, uh, as long as you know the, the algorithm, then you can always uh, implement it in, in all kinds of uh, programming language. So uh, the core is that, that you understand uh, how to do this, let's say, mathematic. Um, and um, while implementing in, in different kind of uh, different programming language, it's just a very easy um, uh, implementation. Okay, so here I'm just going to talk about um, how, um, how I do the uh, linear regression using First, using the package, and also I derived, and and also uh, using the analytic uh, solution, uh, the closed form solution, and also I use the gradient descent and then the coordinate descent. So again, if you're interested in the mathematic, the derivation or or the logic be, uh, for this different method, feel free to uh, to watch my previous video. And now I'm just going to demonstrate exactly the same thing in Python language. And I'm, I'm also learning about this. So there might be some inefficient code in between. So uh, if you have any good suggestion, feel free to let me know or, or, or correct me in the comment. Okay. So uh, first of all, let's uh, read in all the package that is needed. And then I also read in uh, um, uh, um, um, a file. Um, I will just uh, bri briefly like, so they're all numeric data. And also here, I'm also uh, removing all the non uh, all the null no, no values in the in the data set. Okay, and then here, I'm also um, standardize it. So basically, just for each column, um, minus the mean and then divide it by the standard deviation to make it uh, um, uh, to make it um, you can say make make the make the make the data in each row follow the uh, follow the uh, standard uh, standard well, normal distribution. I also did this in, in this uh, the same thing in R. So um, uh, actually, uh, for all kinds of modeling, it would be better to do the scale uh, to standardize it. Otherwise, it, it might um, it might um, uh, your 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 coefficient from from can uh, can be biased. So that's why we always uh, take the scale to make it um, kind of standardized, or, or most of the time just to shrink the data so that you won't compare uh, something that has that is uh, mostly around one and something that has mostly around a thousand. So of course the, 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 the column with, uh, that is in the thousand, uh, um, um, that is uh, in the thousands level would definitely have a higher impact to your, uh, to your, uh, to your Y value. Okay. So first of all, let's uh, run the, uh, let's run the basic, um, um, the package to run the linear regression as you can see that here I return uh, uh, here I have uh, 16 uh, uh, columns so it will definitely ret return 16 uh, coefficient so that's the coefficient that has the minimize uh, that has the minimal um, uh, R RSS uh, residual sum of squares okay so that's the coefficient so uh, that is actually the coefficient that I get from this linear regression package here and also, I will also have this um, closed form uh, solution. So basically, that is from this uh, derivation, and then you can see that uh, the coefficient is definitely uh, uh, which when when for the minimum, you will get the coefficient that is um, 
that is uh, x transpose x and then take the inverse and then and then do it and then take the x transpose and then y uh, y transpose so that will also give you the coefficient that is has the minimized um, uh, residual sum of square so as you can see that uh, for this calculation it also returned the same uh, same um, exactly the same coefficient uh, as you can get for the model if you consider this as the correct answer you can use this to to verify it so this is how you can get the coefficient that has the minimized uh, residual sum of square okay so also here i'm going to use the gradient uh, gradient descent to uh, to optimize my cost function so basically the cost function is just the difference between my officer uh, y value and my predict predicted y value and then uh, as you keep optimize um, the data on the uh, with respect to your uh, your beta then um, uh, and then the final result will actually will give you the will give you the the parameter so now let's me run this uh, let me run this um, um, this while loop so it might take, take take a while to 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 calculate the to optimize the cost function so uh if you again if you're interested in the in the in the logic or in the derivation feel free to watch my video or uh, uh video on uh on uh, um in r that i i i um I, how i derive um um the the the, the, the gradient and uh for 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 this um for the for the gradient descent uh actually it kind of take a long time so i'll just stop the loop and then let's take a look for the um for the coefficient so as you can see that although so since the while loop is not stopping that means the that means um uh, the parameter uh the 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 the, 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 the um, coefficient is not converging but as you can see that it is still returning uh actually a quite um yeah it's actually returning the same thing so um so so basically, um, uh, maybe there's just some, uh, just some, some. There's just some um, probably overshooting in, in in the in the process. But uh, but since this is a very simple uh, optimization problem, so it is going. So of course it is. Uh, is it, it will it will be very simple to convert. So as you can see that even if the while loop is not stopping, uh, uh, the 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 coefficient is still the same. Okay. So now let me just do the uh, uh, coordinate descent. So this method is going to take even longer because uh, I'm going to update the, I'm, I'm optimizing the coefficient one at a time. So it's so it's similar to the univariate, um, well, um, uh, um, so I'm, the coordinate descent is just basically optimized, uh, optimized the cost function in one dimension at a time. So it will, of course it will take uh, it will take uh, it will make it more um, expensive than doing the gradient descent where you where you uh, where you get the um, the greatest uh, 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 the greatest the, the maximize the uh, where you have the where you have to maximize um, decrease in all in, in, in one direction uh, uh, um, for like for all the for all the coefficient but the coordinate descent is just basically optimizing or decreasing the uh that is go uh, that is decreasing in one direction uh in one dimension so of course so basically this is basically just doing this uh so for one iteration here you need to do 16 times because you have 16 dimension or 16 column here so it, it will definitely take longer time than than the gradient descent. So as you can, uh, so the while loop is not uh, is also not stopping. So I just stop here, and then let's take a look at the at the parts. Um, at, let, let's take a look at the variables. So I will use the this one to to do to, to compare. So you can see that they are all matching. So these are the here are four different ways to uh, to uh, to do multiple linear regression in Python, and then base essentially. Well, it is literally the same thing that I did in R, where I also talk about uh, how to derive and then how to do calculate the gradient and then um, uh, uh, how to how to um, derive the formula for the coefficient. So, uh, if you're interested, feel free to uh, refer to the previous video. And as you can see, that uh, for the for the uh, for the uh, four different method in Python, it also returned uh, for uh, it returned the same number. Uh, uh, the same uh, coefficient for these four um, for these four uh, method. 
uh, I, I'm also learning uh, Python myself, so feel free to, if you see there's anything you can uh, optimize in the Python code, feel free to uh, give me uh, any suggestions so that I can, I can also uh, improve myself. So um, thank you very much, and let me know if you have uh, any question in terms of the, in terms of the, the method here, not in terms of Python. Okay. Thanks.